Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Eduardo Jordan and I'm the newsroom coordinator and the executive producer of the radio program The Wire at Radio 4EB here in Brisbane. I came to Queensland in 2010. I lived in Mexico and I decided to study a master's degree in journalism and communication. That was my passion. I thought that was going to be the thing that I wanted to be for the rest of my life. So I started looking for universities um, overseas. Mexico was not in a good place at that time. Time. And um, I found this um, education agency supporting students moving to Australia. So I went there and the rest is history. I've been here for around 13 years. What led you to settle in Queensland and how has your life journey been so far? Whew. <laughs> My journey in Queensland has been a positive one most of the times. Uh, I've encountered different challenges, but uh, fortunately, people here have been very nice to me and they've been helpful. And I believe everyone um, has been really uh, positively affected me in, in different things like accommodation, um, having friendships that I still chat with them every day or, you know, once in a while. And I've also learned how to work in the Australian way. I also know how to be um, a better communicator. That's part of my job as well. And also to be uh, a better person each day. I've changed my way of thinking over the years. And that's, I believe, because I moved to Australia to a different culture and experience all this uh, melting pot of communities and cultures have helped me to understand different things. Next question, have you encountered any experiences with racism during your time in Queensland? Yes, unfortunately, I was in a relationship some years ago and this person was not very open-minded to different cultures and this person thought that I was, you know, a Mexican maid and that was not okay. Uh, we argued constantly, etc., until the until this human being basically said, uh, "It's just you're a bloody Mexican lazy, and I'm gonna leave it like that." So you can add the word there. Um, it's it was tough. It was very challenging, but also it helped me to understand that you know not everyone is. You know, it helped me understand that people uh, needs to be more in touch with their community out there and that we are not just just one solid uh, monolith of, cult of a culture. We are multicultural and we need to respect each other in a way. Do I believe Queensland has evolved in terms of addressing racism over the years? I think so. Uh, baby steps. I believe when I came here 10 years ago, all these jokes about races and all these comments about, you know, stereotypes and all that have been, have been decreasing over the time. Uh, I love stereotypes. I can laugh about my stereotypes. I can laugh about, you know, a really good joke and I won't get offended. Uh, as long as it's, you know, a joke. If it's, you know, something serious or, you know, they're talking really serious about the culture that I am, I say, well, that's not true. This is what's happening. And um, I think people are, Australians are really more open to learn more about different cultures and about different uh, cultural aspects of, of all other countries. And I think that's because we have evolved on not becoming a racist state or, you know, one of the most racist states in Australia. I think uh, Brisbane, the Gold Coast, it's, it's, it's really good. Uh, it's getting there into the regions, but uh, baby steps, and I think we will overcome racism at some point. What's my favorite thing about living in Queensland? The weather. <laughs> The weather is so nice. Even in winter, it's not that cold. Probably we would have around five or six weeks of cold weather, and then it comes back to a nice, 
beautiful day outside. Uh, there's a lot of sunshine. There's a lot of uh, humidity, which I like. Uh, so it's it's really really good. The other thing that I that I like about Queensland is, you know, there's a lot of uh, places to go. There's a lot of natural wonders. If you go to the Gold Coast, there's a natural bridge there, uh, Lamington Park, a lot of bush walking and a lot of nature out there that you can enjoy. And I really love that Brisbane has become a big city. I believe that Brisbane is, is growing and it's going in the, in, the, in the right direction. So that's what I like about living in Queensland. And that would be all. Thank you so much.